Offering post-purchase upsells is one of the best ways to increase your average order value for every customer. Most of the time, this is money that most businesses leave on the table by just not asking their buyers if they'd like to take another offer. Hey, Jeff from Zipify here. Finding a winning upsell can take some trial and error. With the new OCU 2.0 split testing feature, we make testing different upsell offers as easy as clicking a couple of buttons. Now, just so we're all on the same page, split testing upsells is simply testing two different offers against each other to see which one works better. Now, there are endless amounts of things that you can split test. So to help guide you a little bit here, here are some recommendations. Generally, we see really good results with offering more of what they just bought. However, sometimes certain products don't lend themselves well to that. So in those scenarios, a good option is a complementary product. These are products that work well with the initial offer. For example, if you're selling paint, a complementary upsell would be paintbrushes. Finally, if you're not sure what to use for an upsell, you can always use your best-selling product to get started. Whatever you decide to use as your upsell is fine. You just need to test it to see how well it works. So let's try more of what they just bought as your upsell. In this case, they just bought a onesie for their baby. So what if we offered them more onesies at a discount? Let's set up a split test to see if offering one more or two more works better. For the first upsell, we'll select one more. Then we'll edit the offer page to make sure it's looking how we want it. Like always, you can change the copy, images, and colors if you'd like. Next, we'll create the split test. Since we're gonna test multiple of the same product, we'll choose the same product here. Now, we need to change the quantity on the offer page to two, so it will test one more versus two more. As a little side note, using this preset quantity effectively lets you create bundles without having to create a separate Shopify product. It makes it easier on fulfillment, and as you saw, it only takes a couple of clicks. Okay, so once you're ready, just click on Start Split Test. Now, when someone purchases the product that triggers this upsell funnel, traffic will be split between each of these two different upsells so you can see which one works better. From there, watch your split test to see how each variant is performing. When the split test is running, you also have a few options when you click Pause Split Test. You can pause it to make minor edits to the test, for example, fixing a typo. On the variant you want to edit, just click on Edit Offer Page to edit it. Now, a quick note here, if you're doing anything more than updating something minor like a typo, you'll want to end this test and start a new one so your test has accurate data. If you make a change and you want to start the test over, just click on Reset Statistics to zero out your data. Then, resume test. If you're ready to end the test and declare a winner, click on Choose Winner and select which variant is the winner. Then, you can either keep or delete the other variant. This is just one of the many different things that you can test in the new OCU 2.0. We recommend split testing each step of your funnel with different kinds of offers to make sure that each is working as good as it can be. Now, that being said, if you're feeling overwhelmed with all the different things you can test, take one step at a time, see what the results are, and then move to the next step. Just keep it simple. Split testing is just one of the many new features available in OCU 2.0. If you're already a customer, log into your account and check out all the new things available. If you're not a customer and you'd like to offer post-purchase upsells, make sure to visit zipify.com forward slash one-click upsell today. I'm Jeff Winberg, and thanks for watching.